Happy holidays. Thanks for tuning in to Weha Mag. Uh, we are, as always, we come to you on a monthly basis representing all of the different neighborhood and business associations in West Hartford. My name is Tom Hickey. I am from West Hartford Magazine, weha.com, and hashtag Weha Events. Uh, thanks for joining me and all of our group that, is, that uh, gathers here every single month. I am flanked uh, by my partners uh, in crime, Barbara Lerner and Ronnie Newton, uh, who are co-hosts, and uh, we co-produce this together. But we always start our shows by going around the room and saying hello uh, and, introduce, and, and introducing ourselves to you so you know who we are. So let's start to start with my left, your right, and we'll start with Barbara. Oh, so I'm Barbara Lerner. I am the Executive Director of the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. Okay. I'm Cynthia Sanders, and I'm with Daily Moving and Storage. I'm Gina Mariano Bunch, and I am the owner with my husband of Daily Moving and Storage here in West Hartford, and I am also on the board for the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. Great to have you. Ronnie? Oh, am I next? Sure. Uh, I'm Ronnie Newton, and I'm the editor of WeHad.com. Ryan Keating with the Keating Insurance Agency and president of the Future Leaders of West Hartford. Hi, everybody. My name is Karen Fillion, and I'm a um, member of the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association, and um, I am the property manager at Bishop's Corner West Shopping Center. Good. Thanks everyone for joining us and taking time out of your day. Uh, let's just start and get this out of the way. We just had the 30th anniversary of the holiday stroll for the first time on a Friday night. Right. Well, it was nice so. to change it up a little bit well. after 30 years. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, we don't like change too much in New England. So it, it's, it's always one of my favorite events. It is a family-oriented free event. It's kind of a thank you to the community for supporting the businesses in West Hartford. Um, and it takes place in the center in Blueback Square. So as usual, three to 5,000 people, families, dogs coming for Santa, Lots tree of lighting. Lots of <laughs> um, and, and the restaurants and the businesses are very generous in putting tables outside and serving hot cocoa and clam chowder, uh, cookies, candy canes, all sorts of fun things. Ro Ro chestnuts roasting over an thing. open yeah. fire. Yeah. Yes, we have, to, we have yeah. roasted chestnuts, lots of popcorn and candy canes. And, uh, and it really flanked, what was nice about it was it, I mean, you really went from, what would you call it, Upper Farmington Avenue, where they were roasting marshmallows in front of Hart Real Estate, all the way to roasting marshmallows at the, Delamar in, right. in their outdoor fire pit, to... Um, well, uh, Kaoud has Kaoud the animals, animals from yeah. the uh, Children's Museum. Uh, Matthew Phillips, you know, on the Sal Road. So it really, I mean, it was, it was a nice spread, <laughs> you know, of, a full of the community entire, event. Full communities, yeah. yeah, absolutely, which is great. So uh, what I'd love to do, and I told um, Elizabeth from uh, Blueback couldn't uh, join us uh, today, but I had told her that I would put a shout out there uh, to anyone who's listening or anyone who may um, know of someone who might be interested. Uh, it's a huge undertaking um, that uh, primarily Barbara Lerner in the Chamber of Commerce uh, does along with um, myself and, and Barbara Karski and uh, the individuals you see around the room and no one gets paid. <laughs> you know, it's all volunteer, but we would love to have help. Uh, you know, it'd be great to have someone who um, has some time, you know, early fall, you know, uh, into November to help us sort of organize. For 30 years, it, it truly, it's sort of a, you know, turnkey operation in, in that sense, but there's a lot of follow-up and a lot of details. And one of the things that Elizabeth had said to me is, it's really an opportunity to think a little out of the box and do things differently that we haven't been doing, you know, for the last number of years that we've all been involved. So if you know of anyone or you yourself, you know, would be interested in helping us out, we'd love to have your, uh, your help. And each year we invite all the schools, the yeah. churches, and the synagogues to be part of this event. And a big deal this year was it used to be a problem because it was on a Thursday night, you know, and then the kids had to get up the next morning. You know, that's one of the reasons why trying a Friday night was a big deal. Uh, you know, to not, no one really has that excuse. Right, <laughs> you know? and families were able to stay yeah, later because they right. didn't have to rush their kids home to go to yeah. bed for school the next day. So, so it was very successful. 
hustle, yes. and okay. it's it's always a, a fun, wonderful event. We enjoy that one. So let's keep talking about the holidays. That's really what you're going to hear us uh, speaking mostly about today, and maybe some future plans uh, for 2018 as well. Um, also, in uh, the absence of, uh, of, of of Elizabeth at Blueback, she wanted me to remind everyone, uh, and there are so many people that I talk to that don't know this, uh, or that I encourage to take advantage of this when they go to Blueback. Um, if you're going to go to Blueback and you're going to spend $25, which is what, a couple drinks, uh, you know, or one entree, uh, or buying some gifts, $25 uh, or more uh, enables you to free valet parking. So you can pull up in front of the valet parking uh, at Bar Louie and there's you can There's this great pay. guy yeah. who will yeah. take your car too. <laughs> and with a big smile on his face, his name happens to be Sam Newton. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, kind of funny story, though. My Sam was um, valet parking there, and somebody stayed for six and a half hours un unexpectedly. Mm. And uh, they, the valet closes on Sunday at 4 o'clock is usually when they stop taking cars because it ends by 5. And the guy didn't come to get his car until 8 o'clock. <sighs> And there's no, you know, but he stayed. He stayed just and, and you know, gave the guy good customer service. He got a nice tip. So who? So Sam had to stay? Yeah. He oh, had, come on. He well, they have you car key. He oh, had, yeah. he had <laughs> a guy's car. Was it well, a nice car, Sam? It was. It was, was a, a, for a ride. A, a, brand <laughs> new, a brand new BMW. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, it, it, it's a so wonderful, it, it, it is really a, is it a is wonderful amenity. Yeah, yeah, they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah, we used it the other night. We went to Cook and the Bear, and it was cold out, and... We wanted to drive around looking for parking, so we said we're going to spend twenty-five dollars at the Cook and the Bear. All right, beautiful. There you go. There, there's your plug, Elizabeth, uh, for uh, for Blueback and for free parking. Um, I'd love to jump over uh, Ryan to you to talk a little bit about flow. Um, I know you did the uh, karaoke, um, you know, uh, night at um, at the stroll, uh, but what else is happening uh, with Flow, which is future leaders of West Hartford? Yes, Flow is uh, we're entering almost the completion of our first year. Uh, the one-year anniversary of our first event will be February. Uh -huh. So we're, we're launching our 2018 calendar that's been underway, and we should have a lot more information on that coming out this month as people get ready for January, February, and March. We had a successful home buying event, uh, Home Buying 101, this past November, and we had an open board meeting. We're growing our committees, which are based around philanthropy, um, social events, social media, professional development, development in our programs. And we have a joint holiday party with the Chamber uh, coming up this week. So. Yes, December 7th is our uh, Flow <coughs> West Hartford Chamber <coughs> holiday party at Atria. And we'd like our, uh, our attendees to dress festively. We're looking for lots of glitter. So last year <laughs> Go it was, over it was the ugly top. festive. You don't have to last be Last year was ugly sweater. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this, year, <laughs> this year is glitz and glitter. You oh, know? So it's not ugly. So, oh, so oh I no, won't, you could make I it ugly. take my ugly sweater out of the <laughs> moth ball, huh? Ugly. <laughs> is that guy going to wear a suit again? Is probably. His, yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. Maybe with some sparkles on it this year. Uh -huh. So sequins mm -hmm. and sparkles are good. But you, it, the flow is planning an annual meeting too, which is kind of exciting. Yes. Well, it's going to be you know, there's been talks about there's the mayor's charity ball, and that's kind of price advantageous for the younger crowd. What can we do to kind of have something that's going to be geared towards that young professional scene that's very much still in development? Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like we're leaning towards promoting the safe grad for Hall and Connor and oh, trying to have nice. them be the beneficiaries of uh, any monetary mm -hmm. donation we can raise. Excellent. And Ryan, for anyone uh, uh, watching us uh, today, just a reminder for Flo, you have to live in West Hartford, work in West Hartford. What is the... If you can come from uh, Massachusetts, go on. Okay. But uh, so it's to support the West Hartford community, those okay. that want to live, work, play in our community. Uh, our events are West Hartford focused that we will put on ourselves. Uh, we're looking to co-brand with some other groups in the areas in the greater Hartford <coughs> area as well. We had a successful food share event uh, last month as well where we... Uh, sorted pears, and the pairs we sorted enough pears to feed 3,600 people. Wow. Pears as a yeah. fruit in three yeah. hours. Yes. Wow. Yes, they were at their warehouse. Oh, wow. Flow but but one thing, were. you can be from anywhere, but you, you should be 40 under. or under, right? Yes. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> they don't the, card you though. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the group is focused around those under 40 that are in the young professional age range, who grew up in West Hartford, might have moved to West Hartford 
and a lot of the events that we put on are to bring that age range together. Although like our home buying event and we're looking at a small business, business type of program in March, that's going to be open to everyone. Excellent. Sounds great. That's a nice group. It's a nice group. All right, you spoke up, Karen, so keep going. All right. tell, tell us what's happening in so Bishop's Corner. So let's see, Bishop's Corner is hopping, mm -hmm. I'll tell you. And um, so uh, most of the stores all have extended hours uh, for all of our holiday shoppers, and we're all dressed up festively at Bishop's and Crossroads Plaza. And um, Thanksgiving, I think, was just record sales over there at Big Y. I'll tell you, that parking lot was just, <laughs> you couldn't get near it. So that's really great news. Um, they do so many excellent. Well, they do. They have their turkey drive. It's unbelievable. Yes. So uh, really, really great. So um, you know, I don't really have a lot to report. It's just uh, things are going very well. Um, I will tell you that um, companions. Yes, that's right. Um, they're boy, they're really moving on, on that building there. <laughs> Julian's company, I don't right. want to say the wrong name. Companions for Companions Living. For companions for Living. For living. Right. Um, I'm not saying it's beautiful. Name, it's it's really beautiful. Looks, it's, it what? really looks like a home. It surely they, does. Yeah. And when are they due to open? It's, it's they, they're, can't they're be they're far. Open by the time this airs, they'll, they will, they be will have been open, oh, okay. I believe. Right. Yes. Well, great. It looks wow. great. It does. It really looks great. And so that yeah. was the whole idea, right? It's just that by design, it would just look like another home. Looks that was in just the like a home. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Amazing. So all is well. It's fantastic. Great. And so. we can't talk about it yet, but we'll be having the third annual uh, Taste of uh, Taste of Bishop's, Taste of Bishop's Corner. Corner which Last was year was phenomenal. Yeah. And uh, 2018. Yeah. I mean, there's watch a out. lot of good things. You better watch <laughs> out. Well, I'm ready well, now. It was Julian already said that she That's would right. join as being a sponsor. That's so, right. And then without putting any pressure on, on her company, someone said to me, oh, my gosh, why don't you have it in her back parking lot? You know, just because it's so big and then you've got the wooded area and everyone can park at Walgreens. You know, whatever. So anyway. Hey. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. Yeah, Surprises. So, exactly. <laughs> a little twist. That's right. A little twist <laughs> is good. Mixing things up. Great, wonderful. Well, everybody visit, I'm sure everyone knows where Bishop's Corner okay. is, uh, but if not, we would describe it as the intersection of Maine and Route 44, right? That's correct. The crossroads. Okay. The crossroads. Because <laughs> <Yes. That's right. laughs> it's Crossroads it's Plaza crossroads there, Plaza. too. Right. That's right. Absolutely. Right. But actually, do you know where Hartford gets its name derived from? Anyone? Hartford? Yeah. Uh, no. England, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, what heart means in Ford? No. No, here we go, but we're going to so, hear. So, so deer crossing. Is how they named Hartford. Hart is the deer, and then Ford's the uh, water. So, huh. okay. I don't get that at all. So is that just so, me? So like, <laughs> like, well, there was a lot. I guess when they there when a lot they, of deer, they, a lot of deer, and they, when they settled the water there were a lot right of deer, there. and there was a lot of deer crossings. But, and, the but there was right also um, the, war, the the river that ran through yeah. Hartford. You know, the Hog River. So the deer fording the river. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Wow. I just made a thing. Way to go. I learned I think that, you I actually, made that I learned, up. No, I learned that from uh, Tom Dubay at Hartford Flavor Company. Oh. Which is why they've kind of wild moon liqueurs and Hartford Flavor. They're, they have a deer in That's their, their logo. That's their logo, right? Yeah. yeah now you say wow. that. That's interesting. Yeah. Very good. We like that. Got to hang around these under 40s. You got it. Yeah. They know what's going on. They do. Tom's not under 40, though. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, he's, he's a West Hartford guy originally. He went to Conard. Oh, oh that's very nice. That's great. Awesome. All right. Daily Moving and Storage, you're on. Let's right. tell us what's happening. Well, uh, we're just so excited again to be celebrating our fourth year already in West Hartford, and right. we are in the Home Design District. So one of the things we want to talk about is the Home Design District. Yes. Um, we have some folders that today we did a canvas of the Home Design District area, and in our folders it explains each one of our businesses, what we do, what we specialize in, and... Um, what is going to be coming up for us and what the benefits will be for members that are interested in joining. We want to just give you a couple of um, highlights that are happening in the Home Design District. Uh, we want to recognize a few of our members for their excellence, like Brainerd, uh, Bar Barlett Brainerd was recently chosen the best home improvement contractor by WeHad.com for a second year in a row. So that was really great. <laughs> um, Bartlett Brainerd was also honored by the Better Business Bureau for their 55th year anniversary wow. as being an accredited member. So that's really awesome. Uh, how many of you have been in Tile America? Their showroom is just <laughs> amazing. It is an amazing showroom. Um, they have won two awards recently. One was for having the best showroom over 
5,000 square feet right here in West Hartford. And one was, the second award was for uh, the best showroom under 5,000 square feet in their Manchester facility. Uh, so they also have a brand new showroom that is going to be in New London that's going to be opening up on January 1st. So one of the things about Tile America is um, this piece right here. This is one of the okay, things now that she's showing off everyone. You know, she, I, has, uh, she has exhibits, she has props, props, she has yeah. props everything. I've got a few you know. things to show you. Uh, this, this is kind of cool because white marble is always a classic. But when it's fused with the brass like this, you'll see that it is combining many trends that are popular right now. The Art Deco, the mid-century, and it accents the other um, accents that are in the room. So this is, is that something, flooring or is that what, uh, this is that? tile for tile. like in the bathroom uh -huh. and so forth. So it could be flooring. And then this right here comes from the next one we want to talk about, which is Deline. Deline Floorings has won Best of Hartford okay. Magazine for the past seven years running. That's pretty good, right? Um, the hottest thing in the market for them is the luxury vinyl plank. And this arabesque of wall to wall is also very popular and it comes in all of these different designs. They may want to hire you after I, this. <laughs> yeah. I spent time with each one of them today. To make sure that we but you know, the other thing too is that we went around to, um, we did, my group did 19 businesses, the two of us, we did 19 businesses in the West, um, I mean in the Home Design District. And what was weird for the Chamber was that three of them said, oh, we're definitely in the Chamber. I'm the, the new ambassador. Um, what do you call um, head of ambassadors or ambassador chair? Mm -hmm. The ambassador, ambassador chair. chair. <laughs> I just became that. Queen week. ambassador. And, yeah. and, ambassador uh, CEO. And so, whatever you want. <laughs> turns, yeah. so, so it goes Barbara Morgan me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we um, we really want to bring in new members for our West Hartford Chamber because that really helps us all. And three of the people that we went in to bring the directories to, because we're handing out our directories, which if you don't have one, you really should call the Chamber and ask us to get one right out to you because they are phenomenal. And um, they said, oh yeah, we're part of the West Hartford Chamber. And I'm looking at my directory and they're not. So it's a great thing to be able to do because they want to be. They're like, yeah, the sticker's on the door and the sticker's really outdated. So mm -hmm. that's one of the things that we really want to try to make sure that we get everybody up to date. And, and while you're doing that, just, I mean, the Home Design District goes from um, New Burton Avenue all the way down New Park, mm -hmm. Talcott Road, right. um, Reed Street. So it's some of the streets that people typically don't drive back there because right. they're not quite sure what's there. But there are quite a few businesses that may not have a, a bold street presence right. that um, that can help you in your home decor oh, right. and it's remodeling. A, it's a I mean, off of Talkett Road alone, yeah. where I, I don't even know the names of all those streets, but there are right. so many businesses yeah. back there that are, uh, what is it? Um, there's a cabinets. place for knobs, yeah. No, so yeah. Was, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. what a even great there. <laughs> selection they, yeah, they had know. there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like I say, the area that we were in, it was right off of Reed Street, and you know, we did over 19, and it was just one after the other after the other. So, like where Country Curtains used to be, you now Country Curtains is gone from there, yeah. and there's another business coming in. So, um, what's happening, Gina, with, or maybe you don't know, I don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot, with the new business that moved in next to Daylene? Uh, it was empty for oh, a while. Oh, Revival. Revival. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How's is that? They, they moved from Sedgwick uh, to uh, the Home Design District. Right. Well, we're looking forward to welcoming them, okay. you know, to the Home Design District and hoping to get them involved. Okay. Um, so they're taking some literature and, you know, Great. looking into it and getting involved. And a lot of people are going, what is Home Design District? Like, am I even in the Home Design District? Mm -hmm. So uh, what we're really trying to do is educate, you know, mm -hmm. the area and then just help build it up. And, and it's just exciting to be able to talk to them about why our chamber is so amazing. When you tell them that our um, meetings the first and third Friday of every month are... Um, connections meetings are so amazing. It's not just because of the bagels and coffee. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's almost 70 people at those meetings now. And we, I, I can't think of a time that I've left a connection meeting without a literal connection. Mm -hmm. um, there was one this past Friday, I was there and there's a company that's moving up to Norfolk, um, a brewery company that's gonna be coming in. And someone in that connections meeting knew that person coming from Boston, gave me the information and, and booked the job. So the connection meetings are huge. It's mm -hmm. part of our chamber that if you're not tapping into it, you're missing out on a great resource. So we just invite you to and come. Barbara, and Barbara, when's that? That's Friday? First, the first and, third. and third Friday. First and third Friday. 7.30. 7 really yep. early. At the yeah. Noah Webster Library, 20 South Main Street. And no we get Webster. between 50 and 70 attendees. And, and just for those listening, I didn't, I didn't even know that there was a meeting room in the back of the library. Yeah. So, yes. So for, <laughs> so for people. Yeah. And we validate, we validate <laughs> yeah. your parking. And everybody has an opportunity to, sh you know, to showcase their business with a 60-second commercial. 
and then we spotlight a particular member and then we do um, testimonials and, and it's just a, an amazing time so I'd like to invite you to that um, once you get in there and you get to see um, what the people are like that you're working with and get to know them and trust them you start doing business with them and it's really amazing and, and the home design district as well as Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association the Park Road Association the West Office Center Business Association Elmwood Business Association are all members of the chamber so those associations saw the value in joining the chamber yes and so and hopefully so do their members who Gina has apparently gone to see today <laughs> yes and one of the most exciting things about the home design district we're really excited about it is that we have just made the big step we forgot to tell them about this right we've hired our very own marketing person so um, Chelsea has come on and she's going to be doing marketing for all of our businesses and the home design district you know, on its own. So we actually have somebody working for the home design district to be able to drive business for us. And so there's a lot of benefit, a lot of value. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult for independent business owners to take the time right. in an organization to, to do all the things that hopefully Chelsea will help the group do and achieve. That's right. Hence our reason for asking for volunteers for next year's stroll. <laughs> Correct. All right, there you go. Correct. Come full circle. That's what it is. You know, I, I just want to talk mm -hmm. about the uh, holidays for sure. a minute, too, Absolutely. because the Park Road Association, mm -hmm. there's uh, uh, Johnny, mm -hmm. unfortunately, Pandaris. We'll come back sick. to Cindy. Yeah, yes, I didn't we will. forget you. Yes. <laughs> John, uh, Johnny, Johnny Pandaris is sick, yeah. so he wasn't able to, to attend today. But they have um, 15 drop-off sites for toys, and the toys mm -hmm. are going to Toys for Tots. That's the largest and number ever, 15. It is. Years. Last year, I think they had nine. Wow. And so many all businesses. On Park Road? All on Park Road. So mm -hmm. a strand ahead, A.C. Peterson, Anthony Nicole, Body and Soul, Budget Printers, Cricket Press, Effie's Place, Farmer's Insurance, Joey's Pizza, Park and Oak, Park Lane Pizza, Park Tavern, Plan B, Playhouse on Park, and ShopRite. So, okay. um, so, so budget is Park Street, so it goes all the way down. Correct, into it goes all the way down into Hartford. And then shop right around the corner. So, and oh, on okay. the twenty seventh of December, all of the toy boxes will be brought to Effie's place, and DRC will be broadcasting live. The Toys for Tots will be bringing toys that they've collected all over the state to this one location for oh, wow. a massive. Um, Wait, on the 27th, though? 22nd. 22nd. 22nd, 22nd. 22nd. December. <laughs> okay. If I can so, hold that after Christmas. I, 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 I heard yeah. yeah. so, so, I mean, and there are other toy drives. Uh, West Farms Mall is doing a toy drive right. with um, NBC again for Toys for Tots. The Chamber's doing a toy drive at all of our events in the month of December with AAA again for Toys for Tots. So, um, if you just remember, if you're in a store anywhere, the drugstore, or you, you know, you're walking through a place, Barnes and Noble, you see toys, pick something up, keep it in your car, and then when you get to an event, you can just throw it okay. in. Absolutely. We also, I just want to say, in January, January 26, we'll have the Mayor's State of the Town luncheon. Boy, that doesn't seem possible. Right? I know. Um, <laughs> this will be Shari's uh, second, second presentation as yeah. mayor, and um, the location to be determined. So okay. go to our website or give us a call. So, And I don't want to forget not. Cindy. I'm sorry, Cindy. I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> and Cindy, I don't know if you want to answer this question, or, or maybe Gina or Barbara, but one of the things that uh, we talked a little bit about last month, but I just continue to be shocked every time I drive by it. Is the construction, the new construction on New Park Avenue? Oh, yeah, um, six sixteen. It's going to look so different. Um, and I and now they have glass, <laughs> you know, um, you know, up so you be, you know, sort of beginning to see it take shape. Um, are there there aren't tenants or anything? No, no, that no, right no, now? no, okay. not yet. All right. And, the, so and the, the the retail or commercial space on the first floor hasn't been leased yet either, so. It'll be nice. There will be some space on the first floor for possibly oh, so a service. Mm -hmm. All right, so what that's why there that? wasn't glass. I was what is wondering that by? Right. right across from Harvard Baking Company. Yeah, it's right, oh, okay. right next yeah. door the to the, yeah. um, the, the, the Fast Tucks. Track, the Elmwood Fast, Fast Track Station. Yep. Love style apartments. Yeah, I haven't been uh, Aimed at well. young professionals. Ryan, you won't believe it when you go by. It's amazing. <laughs> it's three, four? Four, I four think stories? It's, I think it's four stories. I think. Uh, so the first floor is, is you know, retail slash commercial. I think it might be lots. five. I think five. it might be the, four stories of, of living space plus one wow. story of commercial. Is that the property owned by Trubrook? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. But it's funny how, you know, when you hadn't gone by in a while, it just looks so different, <laughs> you know, all of and, a sudden. And hopefully that's the first of a number of those type of well, buildings along Park Road. Yeah. Uh, we need a lot of them. Right. There you <laughs> but, go. Absolutely. Uh, also on that, the, so they're going to put the train there, right? That's supposed to be a train that station. Is true. Yeah. So yeah. The, the train station, the train tracks right 
next door to the yeah. fast track tracks will the train station will actually be at the Flatbush. Oh, that's um, right. Yeah, yeah. Fast track station, so farther up. Okay. So this but one's down. Distance. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. just on the yeah. other end of, of the home design district. Right. right. <laughs> and yeah. you will be able to take the train either to New Haven, either to Montreal, I guess, or to New York. Yeah, it'll. I mean, you nice. can get from there to you yeah. know directly to Springfield, but then to to Montreal, to Boston, yeah. to New Haven, to New York, oh. to anywhere. Oh, we're still on, we're still in the home design district. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Cindy. <laughs> and, well, you know, one of the things that we are um, we're talking about Christmas, but last month you talked about um, Clover Nine uh, doing a, a house a a hurricane-proof house in the Dominican Republic. Well, they're into Thanksgiving. And so they are really looking <clears throat> to do this renovation and adapting a home uh, for a disabled veteran in central Connecticut. So, you know, the giving back, that's another thing I kind of like about this group. Um, mm. They're specialists and they give back. Mm. And they work together. Mm. In fact, Clover uh, Nine is working with Burial Pl Plumbing <clears throat> excuse me, to repair a house bathroom because there wasn't a building permit pulled before. So that can be a headache mm -hmm. for a lot of mm -hmm. um, folks. And Cynthia, I don't want to put you on the spot, but yeah. I, think we, I think we were searching for it last time because I didn't know what Clover, mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't know what Clover 9 was. So for our viewers. It's a renovation um, uh, company. Company, okay. John, John is John contractor. Powers. Yeah. 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 He actually did in my bathroom. Really? Yeah. Okay. yeah so he does yeah. amazing work. All right. Sorry about that, John. That was no offense. <laughs> <I didn't say laughs> and you want to know how he got his company name? Yeah. It was the road. He, his house. He grew up on Nine Clover. Yeah. Oh, oh I, thought you were, I thought you were going to say ah. deer. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that was good for that one. The deer eat the clover. Last last week we had a. Um, we had a uh, Raymore and Flanagan home design mm -hmm. oh, right. business after hours, yes. which was very well attended, and, and we all got to be able to showcase our businesses there. And he heard me talking about an event we were having, a kindness in motion event that we were having at my children's school, and he said, follow me after the event. Come to my warehouse. And I, and I was like, okay. So Victoria and I followed him, and we had 15 tables, and he gave us 15 beautiful pieces of wood oh. for free to make signs that say kindness matters. Oh, and I said, what do I owe you for this? I said, what do I owe you for this? And he said, just be kind. And it just, wow. John, kudos to you. I mean, yeah, that was just awesome. great. But Tom, I really want to showcase daily moving and storage, yes. you know, because... Because um, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but, you know, people do a lot of renovations, and they come to the Home Design District to, um, to renovate their place, and it can be nerve-wracking. And so we can come in and move that furniture while your rooms are being renovated, you know, the, you were in a home that you're comfortable in. Mm -hmm. The contractors can move around more efficiently, and usually you can pretty much see that new look. Mm -hmm. And move it, move it into a different room? Or no, move, move it, it out into of the house? out of the house. We uh, have a 60,000 foot. Room, or a yeah, we, ha we have storage okay. that so we will just take and move. Works best, yeah. Yeah. So you take it off site? Or you yes. We, we can do whatever the home Whatever they want. Prefers. So right. it could be. It could be, yeah, uh, you know, into another room. Mm -hmm. oh, it could be to one of our storage areas. I bet you areas. no one thinks about it. No, they yeah, don't. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. it keeps your, your belongings clean. Yes. Mm -hmm. It makes it mm -hmm. easier for the contractor. They can right. work quicker, get mm -hmm. in and out of your yeah. house. You don't do uh, storage, do you? Yes, yes, we do. You do do storage, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, yeah. all right. You know, you how does that work? You do that by the day? Uh, we usually do it by the month. Sorry, I'm asking questions. Uh, Everyone knows no, the answer. No, no, no. We do it by the day, too. Like, uh, okay. Like storage pods or? No, nope. well, we no, have not. a facility okay. that we can use. Right. It's less expensive than, than the pods. Mm -hmm. And so you come take it and mm -hmm. bring it to the unit. Make an inventory of everything we bring and the condition that it's in, and then bring it back and set it back up when you know when, uh -huh. when like you're done. For all the restaurants that are out there now, we can take that summer furniture, store it, so they back. don't have to leave it in their restaurants, and then or cover come it spring. with tarps that you right. see all the time. That doesn't look so great. Right. <laughs> That's a good one. So, yeah. And as you're okay. moving all of this stuff, if you don't want your inf if you don't want um, your uh, furniture, we can take it. We don't, do decluttering. Donate it. And donate, awesome. To, yep. That's great. 
throw it away, whatever Well, the bad, the bad news is uh, that we're running out, okay. we ran out of time oh, again. No, the good news is there. that we're ending with everyone thinking about daily moving and storage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 2018. Yeah. Can I just say one thing sure. about Bartlett yes, Brainer because there was, there, I don't want to leave her out because sure. Bartlett Brainer has winter pricing that starts December 1st, goes to February 1st, and it means exterior home improvement projects can be planned and signed up with savings for now and then start your work during 2018 when it's convenient for right. you. So that's real important. To and Bartlett, and they are windows, siding, right, uh, Bartlett Brainer. roofing yep. too or no? Roofing, yep. I don't yes, know if they do roofing. Yeah. Screen, Screen doors. Screen yeah. Doors, yeah. Right. Yep. Right. Right. And they have a great mascot. Yep, they do. So I just want to make sure you know about that. And if anything else you want to know about all of the different people that are in the home design, because there's many of them, you know, give me a call and I'd be happy to discuss Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Thank we you look so forward much. forward to having everyone join us again uh, in January when we'll be talking about uh, a new year and uh, the mayor's uh, state of the town. Mayor's um, state of the town. And all the other wonderful things that we have coming up uh, in 2018 that I was actually going to speak about today. But we'll have to wait until <laughs> <in> January. <laughs> because I as usual, say, we're out of more, town. More people that we're moving are coming to West Hartford. So all right, we like that. There we go. Here, here. Great note. Go, we have. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Happy, happy.